For the third year in a row, Christian leaders from around the world came up to Jerusalem for the Jerusalem Prayer Breakfast. 700 delegates representing nearly 70 nations heard what is on the hearts and minds of Israeli leaders and public figures. Here's what some of the participants had to say. I find it quite fascinating that just last week, uh, the, the president of my country, Nigeria, in his first 24 hours uh, after his inauguration, flew to Saudi Arabia and took a position against Israel. And that means that he's literally invoking uh, causes on our nation. And I feel that the prayers that I pray today, um, prayers revoking uh, the, the causes is brought upon us, I'm praying for the peace of Jerusalem, will help bring a turnaround in our nation. It's just been an amazing experience to see people from all over the world, the many nations coming together to pray for peace because peace in Jerusalem really means peace for the rest of the world. It's amazing to see political people, pastoral people, and those in leadership coming from their nations to come together in unity, because unity doesn't mean uniformity, it means coming together and agreeing on something and being able to seek God on a matter, and that's when he hears us. For me as a Romanian, uh, uh, the issue about the embassy was something uh, important because we now understand uh, in Romania, Christians uh, mainly, that our blessing for our nation is connected uh, directly with our alignment with the God's plan for Israel. So in Romania we pray a lot through our media uh, tools, uh, we have programs uh, challenging people, uh, uh, Christians in Romania to pray for Israel. Romania uh, is became more like a, a, like a, a prayer partner for Israel. God commands everyone to pray for peace in Jerusalem. It's one of the only times in the Bible that God even asks you to pray for anything. People pray because they need things, health, wealth, success. But one time God says, pray something for me, and that's Jerusalem. And the reason he does, at least the Jewish sages teach us, is that he wants people to keep the issue of Jerusalem close to their heart. He wants people to focus on Jerusalem. He wants to tell the children about Jerusalem, get involved in Jerusalem. So for Jews and Christians who believe in the Bible, everyone's got to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and also understand that Jerusalem is the focal point for today's conflicts and that through prayer and action, we can make Jerusalem a credible place once again on this earth. Last year, it was a bit of a baptism of fire. It was like, this, I've never seen anything quite on this scale before. Um, but since last year, I met some really good people here, and that's had a real effect on what we're doing in the UK as well. Some of those people have flown into the UK, and we've done stuff on that. So, so these things, although the prayer breakfast itself is great, it's, it's the connections that you make while you're here, which is really important. And they're quite strategic, and so much good stuff comes out of that alone. I do believe the Jerusalem Prayer Breakfast is one of the most exciting new initiatives that, that came out here in Jerusalem. It's absolutely important because it gathers in a very unique way the nations together here to Jerusalem to pray for Israel, but also to pray for their own nations and their relationship with Israel. So I believe it's one of the most strategic events that came out of Jerusalem in recent years. Alpha.